Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going on a culinary journey to explore the top 5 most unusual and bizarre foods from around the world. From eggs with legs to fermented shark, we'll take you on a gastronomic adventure to discover the weird and wonderful world of street food. So grab a snack, sit back and join us as we take you on a tour of the top 5 most unusual and unconventional foods on the planet. Balat is a popular street food in the Philippines and is often sold by street vendors in the evenings. It is believed to have originated in the province of Pateros, near Manila, and has since become a popular dish throughout the country. Balat is said to have a number of health benefits, including increased energy and improved eyesight. It is also believed to be an aphrodisiac and is often consumed by men looking to improve their virility. The process of making balat involves incubating a fertilized duck egg for approximately 17 to 19 days, at which point the egg is boiled and served warm. The egg is typically eaten straight from the shell, and the yolk and embryonic duckling are scooped out with a spoon and consumed. Some people add salt or vinegar to the egg to enhance the flavor, while others prefer to eat it plain. Haggis is a dish with a long history in Scotland, and it is believed to have originated in the medieval period when it was used as a way to use every part of a sheep, as waste was not tolerated. Today, haggis is often served as a main dish on Burns Night, a celebration of the Scottish poet Robert Burns that is held on January 25th. Traditionally, haggis was made from sheep organs, but today it is often made from beef or veal, which are considered to have a milder flavor. The ingredients for haggis are minced and then mixed with oats, onions, suet, and spices. The mixture is then wrapped in a sheep's stomach and boiled for several hours. Haggis is often served with turnips and potatoes, which are boiled and mashed and served alongside the haggis. Kasu marzu is a type of cheese that is made using a traditional method that has been passed down for generations in Sardinia. It is considered a delicacy in Sardinia and is often served as an accompaniment to other dishes or as a snack on its own. The production of kasu marzu involves leaving a piece of pecorino cheese outside to ferment, allowing cheese flies to lay their eggs in it. The larvae that hatch from these eggs break down the cheese and create a creamy, soft texture. The cheese is then served as is, or it can be added to other dishes such as pasta or bread. Due to the unusual production methods used to make kasu marzu, it is illegal in many countries and can only be found in specific regions of Sardinia. Some people are wary of eating the cheese due to the presence of live larvae, while others find it to be a unique and flavorful addition to their meals. Hakarl is a dish that has been a part of Icelandic cuisine for centuries and is believed to have originated as a way to preserve shark meat in the days before refrigeration. The process of making hakarl involves burying shark meat in the ground for several months to allow it to ferment and then drying it in the sun. The dried shark meat is then cut into small cubes and served as a snack or appetizer, often with a shot of brenovan. Hakarl has a strong, pungent flavor that is often described as ammonia-like, and it can be an acquired taste for many people. The dish is still popular in Iceland and is often served at traditional gatherings and celebrations, but it can be difficult to find outside of Iceland. Jellied moose nose is a traditional dish from northern regions of Canada and Alaska, and it is made from the snout of a moose. The snout is boiled in a mixture of water, vinegar, and spices to produce a broth, and then the broth is allowed to cool and solidify. Once it has solidified, the jellied moose nose is sliced and served, often as an appetizer or as part of a larger meal. The flavor of jellied moose nose is said to be rich and gamey, with a slightly tangy taste from the vinegar. Some people describe the texture as similar to that of jellied beef broth or aspic. The dish is a traditional part of northern Canadian and Alaskan cuisine and is still enjoyed by many people today, especially in rural communities where hunting and wild game are a part of daily life. While jellied moose nose may not be a widely known dish outside of northern regions of Canada and Alaska, it is a unique and flavorful part of the local cuisine that has been passed down through generations. Well, that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed learning about these 5 amazing and unique foods from around the world. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. We are always on the lookout for the next big adventure, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.